Morning ladies, gentlemen, and anybody else listening. Back at home now, no more holidays, but we're gonna do a, a food review. Something incredibly interesting I found in the supermarket. Got it on offer actually, so even better. It says, hello, just for your information, you might not tell the difference between this product and bacon. Pretty cool. No, in fact, it's called This Isn't Streaky Bacon. 100% plant-based, high in protein. Loads of greens there, a little bit of a uh, red at the end. Salty like bacon should be. Anyway, I'm a bit of a bacon monster, I've got to be honest. I've eaten bacon my whole life, coming from that part of the world where bacon, beer and... Uh, a tay is pretty much what you live on. Cup of tay, bacon butty, beer of an evening. Uh, that's pretty much it really. Cheese nogging once in a while. Anyway, so, well, we like our pies as well. Anyway, so the bacon, this isn't streaky bacon, is gonna go into the pan. Got a little pan ready here, there it is. And um, we'll see what it's all about. There it is in the packet. It's quite red looking. It's got some white stuff on it. Like, looks like, I don't know, Jimmy. It looks like you've got a bit of, um, a bit of rind on it. It's got some rind on it, look. They're very thin, streaky rashers. Very thin indeed. It's amazing the way it looks like streaky Bacon. I, I've had the other This Isn't Bacon, chunky bits that looks like anchovies and it was nice but just tasted smoky and I don't know, it was alright but it wasn't, you know, it was quite impressive considering this plant but, but I want to try this, it doesn't look like them Richmond things which I call stunned but I, I don't know, let's, let's, let's Give it a go. How many shall we do? They ain't very big. I'll have I'll, I'll probably eat the old pack actually. The, the, the rind comes off. That's a bit weird. The rind comes off. What's it made of? Is this rind? Is it, it ain't made of rind. What's it? Let's have a look. What we got? Water, soya protein, soya protein, pea protein, olive oil, pea. Radish, beetroot, carrot, paprika. Some thickeners, vitamin B12. Vitamin B12, that's all right, isn't it? Who's that? You, us. Thanks, us, for uh, saving some pigs for us here. Let's, let's um, right, let's give it a go. Cooking it. Get to giving it a cook. I'll be honest, being a bloke, I didn't even read the cooking instructions, so. Go with the traditional method. Oh, a bit of aisle in the pan there, aisle. Oh, lovely. A bit of fat. And oh, what's that? Get out of there, you. Bit of char from the last, uh, from the last meal, right. Right, I'm going with the traditional method. Bit of aisle in the pan. Go on, bit of oil. Oh, lovely, look at that. Glistening. Glistening in the morning sunlight. Put a bit of heat under it, a bit of heat. I've got to be honest, I call afford these days to put too much heat under it. We're warming it under a candle soon. Britain in 2023 is a very interesting place. But I don't like politics, never did. Never did like all that stuff. So I'm going to get on with the food review. Look at all these bits. It fascinated me, these little bits of uh, rind. See what they get up to when you introduce them to some odd fat. Yeah. Bit roll. I don't know how I'm gonna cut this. It's basically round like a big cricket ball. Let's cut it. That's interesting. I've cut it into four. So four, we can have one here. That ain't gonna make a sandwich, look at it. I mean, that ain't gonna make a sandwich, that one. So why don't we do triple decker? Double decker, one, two. Three triple decker, we can get fillings in here. 
in them. Then we can get fillings there, there, and, and then on the top, cap. Maybe a tomato on the top there. Sliced tomato. That'd be amazing. Bacon in there. Bacon in there. Tomato in that one. Genius. Like a pyramid. Like a pyramid. Breakfast pyramid. Spatula. Sp Anybody knows the meaning of the word spatula? Please put in the comments because it's always fascinating me. There's two words that fascinate me. Probably more, but spatula is one of them. Spatula and the other one's flannel. I don't know what the hell it means. Spatula. Bacon's going in. We've got some heat in there. Oh, them two have, ow. Them two have doubled up. It's going in the hot fat and we've already got, we've already got, uh, look at this. Oh, it's going in the hot fat. Interesting. Upside down. I'm about to turn the fat down a bit in case it sticks. It's a pretty good pan this one. I use this one for camping. It's a small pan. Makes the bacon look bigger anyway. So there's enough there. There's enough there for a sandwich and there's probably enough there for another one yet. Not bad at all. Whatever. Get a gear to turn. I'll leave it and then I'll turn it in a couple of minutes. Instructions. Pan fry on a medium heat. Two teaspoons of oil. I'll put a bit more oil in there. Uh, two minutes on each side until crispy. Two minutes on each side. That's quick. I'm going to turn it over. Oh, there you go. Looking crispy. Turn that over. Let's forget the tomato, let's just go old fashioned. Let's just go with the bacon and test it out. Now in my experience, bacon, vegetarian bacon often looks like, a, well it always looks like somebody's just shaved a bit off some dough and put it in there and, and made it coloured like play, with Play-Doh or plasticine. But let's, I'll put the light on so you can see this. Look, have a, have a look. That looks the business. I mean, it's meaty. Look at it. It's got, let's give it a try. Well, I could tell. It needs a bit of salt. I'll be honest. All right, now I'm gonna have a look at this. Um, gonna give it a bit of a go with some ketchup, the second bit. I'm still eating the first bit, and I'm enjoying it, I'll be honest, I'm enjoying it 100%. So let's go with a bit of ketchup. I like a brown sauce generally, but uh, I haven't got any in. The best brown sauce in my book is OK sauce, which is also a bit controversial. I like the OK brown sauce, I can't find it very often. Failing that, I'll have daddy's. Bit, bit of ketchup there. Try it with a bit of ketchup. Have a look at that. Got a rogue. Nope. I think that's the, the only problem I'm having with this, the rogue rashes. It's a small problem, but they want to go where they want to go. And I know where this wants to go now, me gob. Going in me gob. Crispy. It's crispy, it's ketchupy, it's bacon y. Oh, God, oh, that is amazing. I'm giving it a solid nine. This isn't streaky bacon, high in protein, tasty, just great. I'm only losing it one point. Dropping one point for rogue rashes, which you want to go where they want to go. But um, no, bacon bap here, bacon cob, whichever way you wherever you come from. Delicious. 
Right, we're coming to the end of that. And I can't stop eating it. I think I'm going to cook the other half a pack. Lovely. So, final score. This isn't streaky bacon. Gets a solid nine from Demon Dave. Tasty, crispy, chewy, meaty, fatty. A little bit more, it loses a, loses a mark because it could be a bit more salty. And there are some rogue rashes which try and, well, they want to go where they want to go, not where I want them to go, so. I'm being really picky here. You can always put a bit of salt on here. I don't think I'll give anything a 10, but this is, this is amazing. It's a game changer. This isn't streaky bacon. This has been Demon Dave of Dudley Rock Radio. Tear on a bit.